Recently in the past couple weeks I've put out some shorts about finger picking techniques and you guys have really liked it. So what I wanted to do was make a little bit longer uh, tutorial on just simple finger picking techniques uh, only using the bottom three strings. What we want to do is focus in on uh, two things. One is this movement between the thumb, the index, and the middle finger, and also the rhythmic pattern that you're creating. So when you pluck these three strings, envision that your thumb is on the G string, on this third string, your index finger only touches the second string, and your middle finger uh, reaches for the E string. So that's G, B, E. Now just real quick, if you grab your guitar and get set up, um, get comfortable because what you want to do is relax your hand, relax your arms, and um, not even make a chord yet. All you want to do is simply use that rotating method. So it's it's kind of like a piano. It's this direction. Dun, 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 dun. So you're doing G, B, E, B, G. So, so this is the thumb, this is the one, and this is the two. So thumb, one, two, one, thumb. Try it again. Thumb, one, two, one, thumb. And basically this pattern rolls like this. So you'll, it'll sound, um, let's go ahead and pick a chord. So let's take a G on the bottom three, so only here. So the G in this position, you're actually having, you're making a G, a B, and a G. So. Let's try it in that rotating pattern. So thumb, one, two, one, thumb, one, two, one, thumb, one, two, one. Slow it down, one, thumb, one, two, one, thumb, one, two, one. So as you get used to this pattern, it'll help you get to the rest of the strings, but when you're a beginner and just trying to figure this out, you can anchor your pinky on the on the pick guard, um, and there's not a lot of different uh, ways to do this that are formal. Meaning, like you can choose to finger pick however which way you like. There's some standard ways to do it, and there's other ways that uh, that you'll figure out on your own based upon the length of your fingers, depending on uh, what kind of sound that you want to make, uh, and especially the style of music that you're playing. But for this exercise, you just put your put your pinky on the pick guard, just kind of hold it in that position. And so you're just thumb one, two, one, thumb one, two, one, thumb one, two, one. And then you can add chords to it. So G. C. Back to G. Back to C. Add a D. Back to C. To G. Pretty simple technique. What you want to do is make sure that you're plucking the strings properly, not hitting them too hard. So when I'm uh, doing the finger picking style technique, it's always softer. It's always, it's not as loud because you're using the fleshy part of your finger as opposed to a pick. Um, that means that the dynamic is going to change a little bit um, and that you're not going to be as, uh, as loud in volume. So let's say if you were plugged in and you were amplified, you might have to boost the volume up a little bit more in order to be able to be kind of heard because the way that you finger pick. Now, if you're using this as a gentle picking method, now there's some players who use a really aggressive picking me uh, uh, finger picking method and uh, they don't have to adjust the volume at all. But when, you, when you're trying to learn and trying to begin and let's say you're plugged in uh, to a PA system, it gets a little overwhelming. But So let's not worry about that. Let's just worry about the techniques. Let's think about some other things that we could do. Like, um, let's go to D minor. So this is an exercise when you're using not only D major, you can go to D minor. So you can move 
D minor to E minor. So this gives you an opportunity, D minor, same rotation, thumb one, two, one, thumb one, two, one, thumb one, two, one. Slide to D minor. Cool, right? Now let's move from um, just uh, that pattern to, let's do all eight chords. So C, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, B diminished, C. Do it in the exercise, the same pattern, thumb one, two, one. Thumb one, two, one, thumb one, two, one, thumb one, two, one. Now, when you do that pattern, make sure that you don't speed up, that the change of the chord is on the thumb. So one, two, thumb, one, two, one, thumb, one, two, one. See up when you change the chord, so thumb, one, two, one, 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 thumb, one, two, one. Thumb one, two, one, thumb one, two, one. And then you can descend. So, see? That is enough for you to get started using a finger picking technique. Uh, it's very simple, but it's very, very valuable, especially in terms of economy of motion. And let's say if you wanted to open up to the rest of the chords to be able to do that same picking pattern, you can use that same idea, but it gets a little bit different. So this, I hope this video is encouraging to you. Click subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.